Hey Van Heist, welcome to week number six of virtual learning. I'm just pouring myself a little cup of coffee here because coffee is going to be one of the materials that I'm going to introduce to you today as an art material. Before I begin, I want to mention thank you very much to those of you that sent in your submissions for the Art Museum Challenge. I got a lot of submissions and they're really, really good, so way to go. I will be putting those in some kind of online gallery night uh, at some point so you can all look at each other's work and um, enjoy them as much as I did. Since we were looking at all of these famous artworks and paintings last week, I wanted to try some painting at home. But because we're doing virtual learning at home, you might not have all of the same art materials that we have at the Van Heys Art Room, but I bet you do have some of this kind of stuff laying around. We're going to try painting with alternative materials today. Uh, or alternative uh, types of paint. So, um, as I mentioned, I had just poured myself a little bit of coffee. I'm gonna try painting using coffee. I also have some hot chocolate and tea. I'm gonna try all three of these and see which one works best as an art medium and which one is maybe best to just uh, drink at home. So, uh, if you're up for the challenge, join me as we take on this uh, alternative painting adventure. Ah. Alright everybody, here we have my three different beverages uh, in this cup right here. I have made some pretty dark coffee that was made in this thing, it's called a French press. And in this cup right here, this is hot chocolate. Now it's pretty dark as well. I used this dark hot chocolate. Regular hot chocolate would work, but if you're doing this, you might want to add a little bit more than you normally would just to try to get those dark colors. And last but not least, I've got a little bit of tea here, still soaking. This is a roasted dandelion root. And I selected this one because it also gets really dark. Remember, if you are trying to paint with something that's not paint and it mainly has water in it, you want to make it as dark as possible because this paper is so white, it's going to take a lot to stain it and create an image. So let's start off. I'm going to start today with the tea. So I'm going to move these other beverages off the table, off my workspace. I've got a paintbrush, I've got some paper towel, and I put down some cardboard, a little chunk of a pizza box, just in case things were to get a little bit messy. So. I'm going to try to paint with this tea. I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see how it turns out. Um, and, you know, we would just use this just as we would watercolor paint. So here we go. Okay, so here I've got uh, what I guess what I'd call a little abstract painting and I'm gonna write L Y N C H at the bottom Signing my last name. So this was the tea. Uh, I got some pretty good color It seems like as the tea dries, it's getting a little bit more faint But it's definitely something that I'd like to keep experimenting with a little bit. Okay, so I think next we're gonna try the Let's try the coffee now Coffee painting is something that I've definitely seen people do before. In fact, I want to show you, uh, check out a couple of these paintings. I will leave you with a link to this uh, artist's Instagram page. Their Instagram handle is called Spilt Coffee, and they do a coffee painting every single day. They do one painting per day, and it is almost always of... Uh, characters from movies and cartoons that a lot of you would probably recognize. I think their stuff is awesome, but it takes a lot of practice to get that good with coffee painting. Okay, let's try it out for ourselves. So here's the coffee. Now, I think it might look a similar to the tea. Ooh, right away, I think it's a little bit darker. Hmm, what am I going to make? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try to do something... Maybe I'll make like a coffee landscape. And maybe we've got a nice forest in the foreground. 
feel kind of like Bob Ross right now. We're gonna put some nice happy little trees right here. Isn't that fun? Alright, and I'll sign my name. This one is my coffee painting. Now, when we look at the coffee painting and the tea, the abstract tea painting side by side, they look pretty similar. I would say the coffee got a little bit darker, the tea was a little bit lighter, but of course that would depend on what kind of tea you're using. So make sure the darker the better when it comes to making the different beverages. We're gonna end with the hot chocolate. Now I wanted to use this last because it's really dark, really rich, and I think it might give us the best results. When I Got my fresh paper, here we go. I'm gonna attempt a hot chocolate painting. Wow, that is a lot darker. Well, there you have it. This is my hot chocolate Hugo the Hedgehog. What do you think, Hugo? Do you think it looks good? I think that was Hedgehog for nice job. Okay, so there we have it. Three different types of homemade paint. We've got your hot chocolate, we've got the coffee landscape, and we've got the abstract tea. I would love to see you all try each of these at home or just one or two, really whatever you have. And if anybody has any ideas for other ways to make paint, let me know and send along a picture and I'll be sharing it in our online gallery night. 